I'm sure you must have seen the story of T.D. Jakes flying everywhere on the internet and currently I have been very patient. I want to understand exactly what is true and what is and what is false before I make my reaction concerning that, all right? I ain't come to convince you or nobody because I know who I am. I came to hear the master say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. But however, I, I was listening to a video uh, which somewhat was a response by Prophet Lovey concerning that issue, okay? I'm going to leave a link to the full video concerning his reactions to T.D.'s Jake's issues. He said a lot of things, but he said something that was off for me, okay? And I will want you to give your honest opinion about this and adding a scripture to your opinion would be appreciated, however. Everyone who makes a mistake today or anyone that people misunderstand their first order of day is to call them fake false and call them a deceiver but many of you don't understand when you label somebody something that they are not in the sight of God you have committed a tremendous crime the Bible goes as far as to say, don't celebrate when your enemies are falling. Lest the Lord be displeased with you and take what he was doing to them and bring it to you. You see, because we don't understand what the difference is between deception, trickery and lies. You find today people will come out and say, I prophesied this and this will happen. And they rejoice in people getting shamed. They rejoice on people getting destroyed. They rejoice in somebody getting exposed. Understand, if you ever see a man or, of, or woman of God doing this, because many women and men of God do this, understand they are not spiritually mature and God never spoke to them. Because you have to understand, and I will tell you this, and I'm sorry, I know a lot of people say this, so oh, judgment is coming to the church, judgment is coming to the church. Let me make it simple for you. Let me make it really simple for you. God cannot judge the church because he judged Jesus. That's good. To show you how many of these guys are foolish, they don't even think. God put every judgment that was ever directed to the church on Jesus. So if God is going to punish the church, he has to explain it to Jesus. He has to explain to Jesus why he crucified him, why he chastised him. The Bible says it pleased him to bruise him, to destroy him, to transfer his anger from us unto him. So why would God who transferred all his anger on Jesus, who is waiting for the last day rejoice in destroying the church, yet the church is his bride? You can say God can judge the world, even though that is partially true because the judgment of God doesn't come like that. God is, you have to understand, God is so relaxed to people of God. Please hear me and hear me well. God is really, really chill right now because he knows the hour is close where he's going to judge everything. So he's not going to sit there and worry about you who are a little person who's doing something. Sin is bad. Sin is destructive. But anyone who tells you judgment is coming, judgment is coming, they're lying to you. God cannot punish the church he cannot punish his bride for sin that he punished Jesus for. The church doesn't purify itself. The church is purified by Christ. So if it is his responsibility to purify the church, why would he punish the church for something the church cannot do by itself? You know, <laughs> some people just need common sense. So there's a difference between deception, trickery, and lies. When somebody tells you judgment is coming to the church, is lying to you. That's a lie. That is a lie. Because everybody sins. And if God judges every sin the same, then you also are about to get judged. You know, whenever I get to hear ministers say this again and again, it's always a red flag. And particularly, if you have been listening to Prophet Lovey, Whenever it gets to make reaction concerning things that get to trend about ministers, scandals, or false teaching, you always hear him make this comment once and again. We are not without sin. 
there is no worthy that is without sin now i don't want to go into an argument with this but when you get this year a minister repeatedly said this over and over again this is actually a red flag okay so i do want to know exactly what our thoughts are do you think god can actually bring judgment to his church do you think god can actually bring judgment to his house i mean has he done it before will he do it again i mean there are a lot of scriptures that are coming to my mind but i just want to know what your thoughts are okay not to leave your comment on the comment section until next time say bye bye